Hello friends, welcome to Synapse video tutorials. In this video, I am going to give you introduction to Synapse data warehouse. And before that, if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel to get latest updates and videos on from my channel. And thank you for watching my videos. Let's start with introduction to Azure Synapse. Uh, when it comes to data warehousing, uh, primarily in cloud. So primarily in cloud, there are multiple data warehouses are available. So in cloud supporting data warehouses, cloud, there are many companies or many service vendors are providing uh, data warehouses. Those when it comes to list of data warehouses in cloud, list of data warehouses in cloud. Azure Synapse Analytics and you can call it as some other names Azure SQL DW or dedicated pool dedicated SQL pool so Synapse Analytics is a bundle where combination of uh, multiple pools and notebook concept workspace where uh, poly based and uh, internal storage external storage so multiple concepts they are coming with the synapse analytics but here we will talk about only warehouse and there are some other warehouses also available snowflake and aws redshift and google bigquery these are our mpp warehouses mpp architecture cloud warehouses primarily cloud warehouses so we'll start with synapse warehouse and we'll understand the architecture uh, how we will store the data how we will process the data in synapse warehouse so when it comes to synapse synapse is the mpp architecture massively parallel processing architecture you can search azure dedicated sql pool so you will get a more information about this tool there you can see that uh, dedicated sql pool or formally as a sql data warehouse or synapse analytics so synapse analytics is the one bundle or multiple things which is available like in workspace where you can create a notebook and you can create it uh, you can integrate those notebooks with a sql or spark so multiple sql pools are available dedicated sql pool and a spark pool okay so we will talk about only data warehouse. So when it comes to data warehouse, it is MPP architecture. So dedicated SQL pool is MPP architecture. So there uh, in the same diagram, you can see that ded dedicated SQL pool or you can go with analytics. SQL, sorry, Synapse analytics is a combination of multiple things. Maybe dedicated SQL pool, serverless SQL pool or Spark SQL or Spark pool. And there you can create a pipelines is similar to Azure Data Factory. You can integrate with that data flows and then Jupyter Notebooks. It is integrated with the Jupyter Notebook. But Synapse Studio, you can use that for development purpose. When it comes to dedicated SQL pool, when it comes to dedicated SQL pool and that architecture. So we can search in another. Yes, so this architecture is, you can say, dedicated SQL pool architecture. If you look at this, I'll copy this image. I will Okay. So when it comes to dedicated SQL pool architecture, it's completely shared nothing architecture shared nothing means where storage separate you you can see that storage separate if you look at this storage separate and compute so compute also you can find separate so individual nodes will be there and those nodes sharing your architecture sharing architecture means instead of depending on single computation and single database 
So primarily it will divide it into multiple database. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will have a central node. That central node, whenever you are processing data, whenever you are inserting data or selecting data, the central node BMS will be there. It will be communicated to your, uh, through through massively parallel processing engine. It will be communicated to individual nodes, compute nodes. So that compute nodes will be getting data from your external storage. That storage may be Azure storage or maybe if you are going with uh, HDFS. If it is in other cloud, that storage. But every MPP database is having one architecture, mm -hmm. but they are following with standard architecture called MPP, massively parallel processing architecture. So here, when you are talking about Azure Synapse, so these all are you can call it as databases, virtual databases. Okay, so it will have a separate computation, separate uh, disk, separate CPU. Okay, means RAM, CPU, and the disk. Every node will have a this computation resources, RAM, CPU, disk to process the data to improve the performance. Then how many nodes will be there? How many nodes and how many databases will be there? So the standard Synapse architecture is if you are going with a single node, if you are going with single node, it will have a 60 databases. It will have a 60 databases the default architecture is if you are going with a single node it will have a 60 databases and the 60 databases will be using the same infrastructure same infrastructure means same that cpu ram and storage external storage this is your storage and this infrastructure will have a ram cpu and the disk to process this 60 databases parallelly or you can go with two node so if it is a single node 60 databases if it is a two nodes if you are going with one cluster one cluster two nodes you can go with one cluster two node single cluster 60 databases remember this 60 databases so you will have a cluster and so here cluster and when it comes to 30 databases here and 30 databases here okay so node 1 30 databases node 2 30 databases okay so that is called when you are increasing the infrastructure means computation infrastructure then it will split those distributions you can call it as a databases or distributions parallel distributions so how it will split how it will process the data depending on algorithm that we will discuss later so node one node two if i go with the three node if i go with three node cluster so three node clusters means so you will have a three nodes three nodes and these nodes will have a the 60 databases so 60 databases means 20 dbs or you can say distributions databases are distributions 20 here and 20 here total 60 only total 60 dbs our distributions okay total 60 so but you are increasing you are scaling out so node 1 node 2 node 3 node 3 so in single cluster you are increasing that nodes so each node will have a common infrastructure cpu ram and disk and that is called shareable resources okay so in a single cluster you are going with the two nodes so two nodes each node will have a 20 databases 20 20 20 20 distributions total 60 only like this you can go with a 60 node like this you can go with one that 60 node each node will have a one database each node will have a one database node one 
db1 like this node 2 db2 so node 60 then db60 okay so this is called increasing your infrastructure based on your requirement you can increase this let's create one dedicated sql pool and understand that so you can go to azure portal search dedicated sql pool so there is a dedicated sql pool click on this and create a new so when you are creating a data warehouse you should have a sql server then you can create that so if you don't have a sql server you can create that then create this so any resource when you are creating a resource in azure the basic thing which we need to remember subscription resource group is mandatory then particular resource name so this resource name which is dedicated sql pool so synapse sql pool just i'm giving this name yeah it's available then server i have already uh, existing server is available i'm going to use now here you can find this so there you can see this performance level if you click on this you it will be routed to microsoft documentation there you can see this total number of distributions per node default one node means 60 distributions means 60 databases which i explained this if you are going with one node 60 databases will be there in one node okay if you are going with a two node if you are going with two node node 1 will have a 30 node 2 will have a 30 if you are going with a three node 20 20 20 if you are going with a four node so four node means 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 total 60 if you are going with a five node so like this it will distribute it will distribute the same information you can find here so total you were 60 compute nodes if you are so there is a data warehouse units how they will calculate and they will charge per hour based on data warehouse units so when you are going with 100 data warehouse units one node only one node will have a 60 data warehouse means 60 distributions like this if you are still 500 till 500 data warehouse units you can find one node 60 data distributions are databases if you are going with a two node two node means 30 plus 30 if you are going with a three node 20 plus 20 plus 20 if i am going with a four node see here four node 15 plus 15 plus 15 five node means 12 plus 12 plus 12. six node means 10 plus each node will have a 10 data distributions if i go with a 60 node maximum that is okay 30000 data warehousing units is called a 60 node each node will have a one distribution or you can say one database so this is called default architecture so if you are increasing the computation so increasing the computation is nothing but node one node will have a 60 data warehouses means 60 distributions if you are going with the two nodes 30 30 plus 30 like this okay you can change you can increase this is the maximum or you can go with the minimum so minimum one node which is 100 data warehouse units and 100 data warehouse in units for us one node if you are going this per hour this is the pricing for that okay click on apply just i'm going with basic configuration review and create just validate and create so this is about dedicated sql pool architecture you can go with the one node two node till 60 nodes so each node whenever you're going with the one node means 60 data distributions or databases so this is called scaling out so based on your requirement you can scale out the architecture infrastructure okay you can increase the number of nodes that whenever you are increasing automatically prices will increase and you will get a better performance so this is about uh, introduction to synapse warehouse so next video we'll start with using the synapse warehouse then we'll understand how to create a table and uh, available uh, how we will split this data now we are creating uh, distributions right databases how we will distribute this data and which basis are 
which algorithm we will use to distribute the data parallelly how we will store how we will distribute the data that is called different types of distributions okay we will cover in next upcoming video thank you for watching my videos thank you very much